Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Africa, welcome to the grand finale of Winner Home on Afternoon Express, proudly brought to you by Private Property. The tension in the love today is oh so high because 17 weeks have led down to this very moment we're standing in. It is a live show on SABC3 and we hope that you guys are going to continue to use the hashtag Winner Home throughout the show. With me today, live in studio, are six grand finalists, grand prize finalists, and they're all hoping to walk away with the keys to a prize that is going to change their lives forever. A brand new, fully decorated home at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate. They're nervous, I'm nervous, and some other people that are also nervous are our design contestants. Our three design duos have been through an absolute roller coaster of emotions over the past four months but today one will be handed a check for 100,000 Rand as the judges favorite and that's not all your votes on the private property website have been tallied and the design duo who has captured the hearts of South Africa will win a further 20,000 Rand this show would not have been possible with some very important people so let's say a quick thank you to them I think one of the most compelling reasons for somebody to choose the Eye of Africa as their home is the magnificent landscape. The beautiful bush felt, the copies, the views, the walks. People are blown away by the natural beauty of this wonderful estate. For me, this is paradise. And that's certainly a view shared by our headline sponsor, Private Property. Season four of Winner Home has been incredible. I think it's unbelievable to see what the design duos have been able to accomplish in the, the spaces that have been provided. The estate has been remarkable. You know, who knew that such a jewel could be in the middle of the south of Joburg? Now, there's a lot to like about the Eye of Africa estate. It's so much more than just a golf estate. But I think the lifestyle component is what's really going to draw people in. Our units are not even a minute's walk from this beautiful old converted building that's now a deli and a restaurant, a beautiful deck wraparound, and you get the opportunity to kind of stroll there with your family and enjoy a social day out. The value of the homes decorated by our design duos was significantly increased thanks to our generous sponsors. From Grindig, each duo was given their choice of 80,000 rands worth of home appliances for the kitchen. Giverit provided each duo with 60,000 rands worth of top quality bathroom products. From Grower, each duo also received 80,000 rands worth of taps and mixes, as well as freestanding baths from Lieber Bathrooms. Mulgatex provided incredible flooring products, including carpets and artificial turf, worth 50,000 Rand to each design duo. From vanities to floating shelves and more, Caesarstone added sophistication to the homes with 100,000 Rand's worth of their product for each duo. Finally, each design duo was freely allowed to use an unlimited amount of paint from Plascon to complete these beautifully decorated homes. One can't help but notice the eye-catching Caesar Stone surfaces creatively used by each of our design duos throughout their homes. And we're joined now by someone who has kept a keen eye on this process, PR manager at Caesar Stone, Megan Schumann. It's good to have you with us today. Thank you. The nervous, the nervous are kind of growing through us all, but aren't you so impressed with the way that they use Caesar Stone this year? Absolutely, Danilo. Oh, we are thrilled with the final outcome of the homes in this season because there's so many more ways you can use Caesar Stone apart from just your bathroom and your kitchen. Mm. And the duos have really embraced that fact and they've pushed the boundaries of design. We saw it in the planter boxes and the clever storage units and oh, the ladders in the bathroom and the, the side tables. The, the list goes on. We saw it all and we're thrilled with the final result and we're very excited for the winner of the home because it's got immense value to it now. Stunning. Well, thank you to you and to Caesar Stone for coming on board. 
board this year and for making this process so luxurious. Now, it really was their innovative and out-the-box thinking that made the most of the resources that they were given. And I'm speaking here about our design duos. And oh boy, they literally exceed our expectations uh, with their fresh ideas, their creative solutions, and their big and bold personalities over the 16 phenomenal weeks of Winner Home. The Winner Home journey began with three confident design duos arriving at Eye of Africa Estate. Behind me are the three homes that you'll be decorating and I'm sure you're dying to get started. This is a dream come true and we can't wait to get our hands dirty. <laughs> we got this. Yeah. With great excitement, they met their magazine mentors who would help guide them with their every challenge and things got going with the guest bedroom. Sure. sure. It's like Beyonce before the Super Bowl oh, yeah. and she doesn't have her backup dancers. Oh buddy, we have less than literally less than six hours to get this right and it's not looking good. Contestants, your time is First impressions were critical as the judges discovered the duo's unique design styles. It's memorable. Brave. Wow. <laughs> I think I wouldn't want to wake up with a hangover in this room. Team House and Leisure claimed victory in their first challenge and set the bar high for their competitors. We are coming for the crown. We're stressing, we're yeah. stressing, um, but we're going to get everything done we have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys put Maria back in Miracle. Good luck. Hallelujah! Thank you, Danilo. <laughs> Time is up. You've got to get out of the house. Yeah. And we finished this time. <laughs> mm. I think the judges need to love every single bit of our room. Bro. The only part that I think the judges could hate was leaving the room and having to go judge the other rooms. The judges didn't agree and named Team House and Leisure the winners of the second challenge. I died. Died, I woke up, and this is just absolute heaven. The only negative is that it's not mine. How dare they win again? The next challenge was double trouble doing both bathrooms. Doing two bathrooms at the same time is hectic. <laughs> double stress, double crazy, yeah. double tear. No, no one cried. Well done. Oh, well. Yeah, no one cried. Yet. I know our mentor said no more chandeliers, but it's like, Amanda, what's a room without some lighting that sparkles? I couldn't help myself. For the judges, one bathroom was a little controversial. You have to be very confident with your body to live in this bathroom. I feel like I'm in Tarzan and Jane's bathroom. Mm -hmm. It gives a new meaning to going to the bathroom behind the bush. I just don't see how a couple living in that space could survive. I mean, that's just the recipe for a divorce. But it was Team Habitat who was showered with praise and won the bathroom challenge thanks to restraint and clever editing of their style. We won! We won. <laughs> the master bedroom challenge had all the design duos gunning for a win. Team Habitat, be warned, we're coming back for our crown. Yeah, it's gonna win. Yeah! <laughs> Catch it. It's cut wide. The rail. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got five minutes and you're stepping on my nerves. <laughs> nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> it literally feels like I'm on the set of a talk show. Absolutely. You are hosting live from the bedroom. <laughs> a bedroom with a roar. <laughs> it was finally Team VC's time to shine as they scored their first win with a dazzling bedroom. Bed mirror. Recipe for babies. <laughs> yeah! I'm just cool with it. I've been waiting for the win from challenge one. <laughs> it's nice to give them a taste. Yeah, it's yeah. just a taste. Yeah. But they mustn't get too attached to that crown. Next was the crown jewel of the home, the kitchen. What's happening here? Um, we are delayed. It seems that the word chandelier is forbidden. <laughs> so let's say we're going to light it up with some chandelier lighting. <laughs> Will they be done on time? I'm not too sure, guys. Okay, we can't take for long. Go, 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 go. <laughs> The design duos hoped their kitchen had the right flavour to impress the judges. OK, so I'm going to try and push it, see what happens. Ooh. OK, no need for words there. The nicest thing about this kitchen is the cake. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
Team VC's monochromatic kitchen took the win. And then it was time to think outside of the house, tackling the garden with the help from their assigned landscapers. I feel like this is a challenge where everybody can just go crazy. Okay, lighting is going to be important. Sure, I was about, I was afraid to actually bring it up. Can I just have one more <laughs> show? No, no, just one more. <laughs> Literally, deadline is around the corner and the pipe just burst. It went like. With Team Habitat winning the garden challenge, there was a three-way tie between the duos as they went into the final challenge of the competition. It's our last challenge and this is going to break the three-way tie, so I'm personally really, really shaking on the inside. The budget is looking very swack. It's looking very bad. Can you afford it? I'd even sell the Seho for this. <laughs> You're going to sell me! <laughs> I guess I'm sold. <laughs> With even the heavens crying as the judges arrived, critiquing the living rooms was bittersweet. That space is just incredibly beautiful. And not because I'm a pain girl, but they took my breath away. It would be a feeling of deja vu for Team House and Leisure winning the final challenge of the season. We're quite happy going into the final verdict with three wins. And, well, it does mean that we are doing something right. For the judging of the overall design, the renowned Kim Hutton served as guest judge as the three experts spent the night in the completed homes. In a competition like this, it makes me extra value people that take the chance. So I hope competitions going forward continually value and praise people that push the limit and take the risk. There's a lot for these people to lose and a lot for them to win. So value those that have pushed the limit. It's been quite a journey for our design contestants. Hashtag win home across all of our social media platforms. Share your thoughts. Should we find out what the thoughts are of our design contestants? Well, we'll do that after these. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life.
Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life. Welcome back to the live grand finale of Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Now, four months of grueling challenges, nail-biting finishes, and pushing creative boundaries, it's literally been quite an experience for our three design duos. Obviously, Team VC, Team House and Leisure, as well as Team Habitat. You guys must be so nervous. Just take a deep breath in and out. 120,000 Rand up for grabs. Let's find out from you, Team VC, how you guys are feeling. Obviously, you guys were the only team that came into this competition not knowing each other beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, so we didn't know each other. I think that actually gave us a lot of freedom in terms of feedback to each other about the design, and mm -hmm. I think it sort of refined the design as a whole. Okay, one of my favorite things to do on the show was to scroll through Twitter. Mm -hmm. I was looking through all the comments coming through. People want to know when you guys are going to start dating. You didn't decide to date, you decided to start a business. I mean, what the heck? Yeah, well, we spoke a language of design, which I think maybe confused the fans more than it did, and we decided, you know what, let's just take it further. Mm -hmm. Okay, accept the relationship. Right, Team House and Leisure. Uh, obviously, each team was allocated a mentor to look after them and to give them some inspiration. How was it working with Tian? Tian was like the perfect mentor for us. He gave us creative freedom, meaning we could express ourselves to the best and would help us tweak there and there. Stunning. And you guys were the team that won the first two challenges in a row. I mean, that put you at quite a, quite a lead. Was that a big pressure for you, the two of you? To be quite honest, winning the first two challenges did put like immense pressure on us because all we could think about was how do we, like moving on to the next challenge was mm. how do we top the last two, which was very stressful. I'm sure. But on the bright side, it did boost our creative confidence. Stunning. And also your confidence has grown over the series. <laughs> the shy, timid, nervous guy, didn't want to take a microphone, is now like this loud, outspoken dude. So it's really cool to watch your journey too. Team Habitat, let's uh, move on to the two of you. What an incredible journey for both of you. Why did you enter Win Home? Sure. Yeah. I mean, we like things. Yeah. And besides liking things, we're not afraid to challenge ourselves and to try and push ourselves. And we've entered before and we always watch the show. And yeah. we thought it'd be a dream come true if we got a house to decorate. And we thought we'd add our fashion yeah. flair yeah. into interior, turn the interior world upside down, try add, something new. Add some razzle and dazzle. <laughs> you <know? laughs> and you guys were the team that came together as a couple. I mean, you guys are obviously together. I mean, was being in a relationship difficult for your design relationship? Hmm. Sometimes he was on purpose. <laughs> I was not talking to him. If the dog box and was this, another challenge, she would have won. And yeah. this is the chandelier, I was not talking to him. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was a bit strange, but it's like it, it's made us stronger. A lot stronger. Yeah. Stunning. Well, I'm really, really proud of all three of these teams. You guys have done a phenomenal job this year. I'm really impressed with the design that's come out of this. So congratulations to all of them. And besides, obviously, our fantastic design duos, this year, our expert judging panel consisted of another amazing duo, but they weren't alone when it came to making that all-important decision for each room. For each challenge in Winner Home, a guest judge joined the panel. First up was the iconic Stephen Falk. It's always been exciting for me to judge Winner Home. Every year is something different, new place, new environment, but I always say a space has to be comfortable with the world, what's going on around us. Our cocoon, our space, is of utmost importance. For the spare room, the judges are joined by Queen of Joburg Interiors and Season 1 mentor, Tabi Taukobong. Joba Queen of Interior Design, mm -hmm. Tavi Daokumong. We admire her definitely. She's definitely pioneered that African touch yeah. in South African yeah. interior. The next guest judge was the always stylish Buzwe Mambuza, who shared his insights on the bathroom challenge. I think Win a Home is a great platform for emerging designers because they get an opportunity to showcase their talents and showcase their vision and also get immediate critique, you know, from people who've been doing this and you know, in the industry and who know what they're doing and talking about. For the master bedroom, the guest judge was a master interior designer, David Muirhead. We're looking for something unique, conceptually, and something that really is original and has potential to be a concept that we develop further. Architect Jonathan Anstey brought his expertise in functional design as guest judge in the Kitchen Challenge. With this being a design competition, what we expect is take it beyond simply just the practical. And then to look at those aspects of design which move into how does it create atmosphere? How does it create an environment in which you enjoy being? Guest judge for the Garden Challenge was Des Whitehead. 
Karteng Operations Director of the SA Landscapers Institute. Great gardens are really a sense of tranquility, giving you some peace, giving you some calmness, uh, giving you an experience to sit in and enjoy nature. And for the living room challenge, a little rain didn't dampen the spirit of acclaimed designer Stephen Pellere. I think what I'm expecting, particularly in this competition, is a lifestyle mark. Really, what would a family or uh, a particular client feel happy with and relaxed with and feel as part of their lifestyle? For the final overall design judging, the renowned Kim Hutton served as guest judge. It's always flattering to be included as a judge. Sometimes you think, oh, I'm the old, the oldie here. But by the same token, I'm extremely proud to perhaps be of assistance and give a professional opinion which has been around for a while. And it's lovely to help young people better themselves. Anchoring our judging panel were two familiar faces who were there every step of the way to encourage and give feedback to our design duos. Winner home season one winner Donald Mumalo and the vivacious Katlejo Kondlo from Plascon. And although I was harsh on our design contestants, these two know how to throw shade. That's all I'm going to say, all right? There were some real spicy comments thrown into your, your, your challenges this year. Donald, full 360 degree process for you. Winner of season one, now judge. What was the process like for you? Uh, the process was quite overwhelmingly beautiful for me because obviously having been in the background, I know yeah. what the contestants are going through. Renovating with a camera in your face is not mm. easy. Mm. But it was quite pleasant to be here. It was rad to have you as well. Katlejo, and for you, this whole experience of judging? Um, I, for me, it's been an absolute honour to be part of the, of, of the show. I think it's been really incredible. It was an emotional roller coaster for me. Mm. Some days where I was really sad at some of the designs, other days extremely excited. So it was, it was a plethora of yeah. emotions. For me. Favorite comment of all, that mirror is a baby maker. Loved it. <laughs> Our judges are here with us in the loft today, and it's time to get their final comments on each of the completed homes. So let's begin with Team VC. Our home has the pointless of touch. Each and every room has something specific that we have done to make it the way it is. I don't think our aesthetic is easy to find, and the way we combine it is not easy to find. So all of that mixed together, the overall look makes our house unique. I feel like you should pick our house because of its house that continued with their theme. And it's the most comfortable house. It's the house that's going to be in each and every Pinterest page. One of the teams that I absolutely grew more and more in love with each week that we were there with you guys. Judges, over to you for your feedback for Team VC. I just loved how you were able to incorporate color through your choice of textiles in your, sorry, your carpets, as well as your curtains and your wallpaper, and how every space is so connected with all this color. I can see this personality coming into this home, being very happy and just being surrounded by all this mm -hmm. color and texture. So well done to you. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Guys, congratulations for making it this far. I think for me, what stood out for me, for you guys, is how crystallized and how clear you were in terms of your, your, your client. You said you were designing for a bachelor, and every single aspect of your house really spoke to that. So I really respect that about you guys, mm. and congratulations, well done. Thank sure. you so much. Phenomenal job, Team VC. Good luck to both of you. May the best team win. Let's move on now to Team House and Leisure. I'm very happy with how the house has turned out. I think it has got a vocab um, in regards to there is art in every room and the colors are unique in each space as well. So um, for it being a unique whole, it works. To whomever gets to pick a house, I think they should pick ours because it's fabulous. <laughs> in aesthetic, I think it is a step ahead from what's currently happening in contemporary interiors. And it's a designer house, for real. <laughs> the only team that I literally shouted at. The only team. Out of all three, you were the only ones that I had to shout at on the show. <laughs> Judges, over to you. I loved how resourceful you were. I just love how the interiors came together in such a sophisticated, beautiful way. I, at most times, I couldn't even tell that you guys were apprentices or you hadn't really worked in design before because it was just so seamlessly done, so beautifully executed. Well done. Thank you. You're like my colour people. <laughs> I really 
appreciated how color was not a secondary consideration. It really was the hero of the home for me. And I appreciate that about you guys. But absolute one word for me is perfection. Um, so well done. Yeah, congratulations to both of you and good luck. And well done on using such local designers throughout your home. It was really cool to see you celebrating local art and design. Finally, shut the front door, <laughs> Team Habitat. I feel that the home has come together miraculously. It has come together beautifully. And it's a miracle, especially if you as the design duo are happy with what you're putting forward. We put our heart and soul into this. Honey, you gotta. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way to go into any challenge or project. And 53 is the best house. <laughs> it's the most luxe. It's different, it's unique, and if you want to be the richest in the neighborhood, <laughs> this is the house to be at. <laughs> ah! That's all I'm going to say for the two of you. <laughs> Judges. Not the outfits, the home, all right? <laughs> Feedback. My first reaction was exactly that, with the first episode, like, ah! <laughs> but honestly, guys, really well done. You know how we started off, you and I, but you know, we, you grew on me. And um, I think what I love about you is the fact that there is no box for you. you. You completely disregarded this concept of think out of the box. You were like, I don't think so, there is no box. So congratulations and well done for being brave and courageous. Well done. Yeah. You know, for me, interiors need to be engaging and people need to look forward to seeing them and being in them. And I, I got that feeling week after week after reviewing your work is that I wanted to be there and I looked forward to seeing your work. Some moments were hair raising <laughs> and some moments were really beautifully executed. So that combination gave me a, such a, a wonderful feeling. Mm, indeed. Well done to both of you on an incredible design journey. I'm just waiting for the fake plants to pop out somewhere. <laughs> I'm wondering where, where they're going to come. Don't stress you out too much. And speaking of the stress after the break there will be reason to celebrate as we announce the winners of the design competition and reveal which design duo has been voted the viewers favorite stay right where you are
The nerves are high. Welcome back to the live grand finale of Winner Home on Afternoon Express right here on SABC3. It's the moment our design duos have been waiting for, and they don't have to wait any longer. Joining me to reveal the winners of the design competition is Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property. Simon, stress, <laughs> my friend, stress. How has the season been for you? Well, I'm trying not to take it too personally that <laughs> after three years as a design judge, I relinquish that duty <laughs> this year and the design level has just gone up and up and up to a, to a level that we haven't seen in any of the previous seasons so congratulations to all of the design duos I yeah. think the fact that you were duos added not only drama but incredible uh, result yeah. to the to the homes uh, ultimately adding great value to the properties and I think that's what design is yeah. all about is ultimately to add to that investment uh, and the show has been fantastic you know, it's yeah. always great being involved with a production as, as high level as this and quality as this. We've been seeing a trend on Twitter. It's been going crazy on the private property website. Hundreds of thousands of, of uh, individual contestants or, or, or entries, people yeah. entries. Uh, and it's really good to see that one of them is going to get the home today. Indeed. I'm so excited for this process and I can see that the design duos are very eager to hear the result. It's time now to announce the winner of the Viewer's Choice Award to the value of 20,000 Rand. This is the result of the votes cast by you, our viewers, on the private property website. And I can confirm that the voting results have already been tallied and verified. Simon, honor is yours. The big moment. I mean, you guys, I wish you were all winners, but the winner of this prize is Team House and Leisure. Team House and Leisure, congratulations. Congratulations. Take the money, take the money. Yes. Welcome, Tia, you want to come on over here? How are you feeling about these two words for them? Um, sure. Super excited and super proud. Um, at beautiful taste, great eye, um, clever boys, um, good color choices. So yeah, congrats. Awesome, congratulations to both of you. The viewers love you, you may go take your seats. And obviously I want to take a look at this uh, leaderboard for a second, yeah? To show you how those results looked um, for obviously all the different design contestants and their teams. Team Austin Leisure were in the lead with 36. See how close this was. Team VC sitting on 34%, just two under Team House and Leisure. And then Team Habitat on 30%. 30% uh, coming in just under third. So very, very close results. And I must say thank you to each and every one of you for your votes. And congratulations again to Team House and Leisure on that win. Our viewers' choice winners. Now, for the judges' choice, 16 very long weeks. Uh, obviously, our design duos gave it their all for that big prize of 100,000 Rand and the title of Design Champions of Winner Home Season 4. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the big one. Simon, no pressure. This is the moment that you guys have been working so hard towards over the past few weeks. And it is my pleasure to announce the Razzle Dazzle oh, Team Habitat. Team Habitat! <laughs> oh, you two, if tears could be gold, we would be so wealthy right now. Oh, my word. Ah, oh, to these two emotions. I'm not even going to try and interrupt this moment over here. How are you feeling as mentor of these amazing, amazing two human beings? I can't believe it. Congratulations. You've worked so hard. You're bold, you're brave, and you're successful. Well done, guys. My nerves. Shut the front door. Shut the damn front door. Let's give you guys this check. You're 100,000 rand richer. Ah, yes! Yeah. 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 Wow. I'm so proud of both of them. And just when you thought that this couldn't get any more emotional or thrilling, <laughs> thrilling, we still have to give away a brand new home worth 3 million rand. That's going to happen after the break. Our finalists are going to take that one step closer to winning a dream home. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> with Winner Home. The best stone is Caesar Stone.
Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. There have been tears, there have been screams of joy. Welcome back to the live grand finale of Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Now it's time to find out which of our six viewer finalists will become the new owner of their choice of one of the homes decorated by our design duos at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in Johannesburg worth more than three million rand. Each one of them was randomly selected from the total pool of valid entries and I can now say that this year we received more than 350,000 viewer votes. So thanks to each and every one of you who voted. Besides me, there are six color-coded plinths and they are all placed, well, on top of them will be placed a six identical safes. One of these safes holds a key which was placed there by our independent attorney, Janu Furi from CISA. Now to reiterate, Janu is the only person who knows where this key is placed. The finalists who unlock the safe continuously, while obviously containing that key that is inside the safe, uh, will obviously be the winner of that home decorated by our design duos. So it is pretty stressful, I think, for them and for us. Next to me over here is our Winner Home Grand Prize Competition machine. Each finalist will be allocated an identical game ball provided to them by our independent attorney on which they will mark their initials. The balls will then be jumbled and run through the prize machine, falling into the slot at the bottom, each landing on a different color. These colors represent the six plinths on which the safes are positioned. Once the prize machine has determined what color each ball has landed on, our finalists will stand at the corresponding safe. The next step is quite simple. The finalists will then open their safe simultaneously and the person who finds a key inside will be our winner. With so much to do and so little time, let's meet our finalists. I'm Noptula Masangu. I'm from Johannesburg. I work at Diego as a sales rep. My life revolves around my family, being my son, my aunts and my uncles, and also my grandparents. My grandparents raised me, so I look up to them and I also take care of them. For fun, I go out with my cousins. Most of the time would go out for lunch. I also go out with my son. We go to the park, I entertain him, and I also enjoy watching movies. I lost my mother in 2009. A couple of years, a year or two after her passing, we lost our house to the bank because there were outstanding um, finances and amounts that we couldn't tackle. Winning this home would shape not only my son's life, it would give us a home, it would give him a home. I'm Frances Leibrandt, I'm from Mossa Bay, and I'm working at Garden Road Primary School as a financial clerk. I enjoy my job, I like working with sums, and I pray for that job because I know I can be myself and enjoy myself. The most important people in my life is my family. I want to give them the best. What I like about this show is uh, uh, the competition between the teams and everyone wants to give their best and everybody is everyone is good in their own way i entered because my dream is to get a house of my own i'm renting this house at the moment for more than 10 years and i don't know when they're gonna build houses here in somebody so i hope that I will be the winner. <laughs> My name is Roberta Geister. I'm from Wellington in the Borland and I'm a personal assistant for the president of the Borland Rugby Union. The most important people in my life, I would have to say, firstly, is my son, Matthew. Um, he's 25, I'm a single parent, so I've basically had to raise a young man on my own, which hasn't been easy. I'm actually very much a homebody. I don't really go out much. I love watching TV, I love music, and free time I'd be in the outdoors I suppose. As a single mom I've had to overcome many hardships but not things that I suppose lots of people don't go through themselves. My mom passed away nine years ago and she was actually the person who helped me raise my son. So after she passed it's been difficult. My son and I basically have to face the world with my family and friends who support me but 
Every day isn't easy. When I got the call from Winner Home to tell me that I have been lucky enough to be selected as one of the top six finalists, I was absolutely over the moon. I could not believe it. I still can't believe it. I'm Lucia. I'm retired. I'm from Mayersdal, Johannesburg. I was working to, before I retired in South African tourism as an ambassador to bring in German tourists into South Africa in order to see my children in the UK. I sold everything, inclusive my car, which means now that I'm walking all over. I walk to the mall to do my shopping. I walk to gym. Wherever I go, I walk. It would change my life totally to, to win the house. Why? Because I have no income. I'm living now with my partner, which took me in. So when I would have my own home, it would give me a total security for my retirement. And I might be even able to buy a car again. I'm Shalane Naidu, and I come from Queensborough, Durban. I'm a small business owner with my husband. We are in the shipping and freight industry. What I like to do for fun is spend time with my family. We love to entertain ourselves with construction blocks, play with puzzles. My daughter's a budding baker, which we love to bake together. And we also love to play hide and seek. The hardships in my life have taught me to persevere and to be determined. Always put in your hard work. 100% is all the way. And never give up on your dreams. I love watching Winner Home with my daughter. We always get inspired by the design duos. We all watch almost every episode. If we ever miss an episode, we always recap on the private property website. I deserve to win a home because we face many challenges and obstacles in our lives. Um, we've not even come close to owning our own home as yet. It will absolutely be a blessing to win a home. I am Zink Ekom. I come from the Eastern Cape and I work for Old Mutual as a scholarship program manager. The most important people in my life are my children and my entire family. For fun, I go on nature walks with my son. Two weeks ago, he went for bowling and he came back excited about it and looking forward for us to going back again. I currently live with friends in Plumstead. I've been through tough times and they were there to support and I'm, I'm, I'm with them for now until I find my own home. When I got a call, I was driving initially. I think I blacked out or I was deep in thought, dreaming and imagining how, what would I do if I win? As a result, I bumped my car on somebody else's. My car is okay though, just one eye gone. I'm a single mother with two children. We don't have a home at the moment. It has always been a dream of mine to have a home for my children. Each and every one of them deserving winners today, but they can only be one. Yanu has got the different balls in his hand. Each of them is obviously identical. Yanu, you can begin handing out a ball and a pen to each contestant. Ooh, you guys look nervous. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nervous laughter. We like it. We like it. All right, just to reiterate for you at home, these game balls are identical in every way. None of them have been weighted or altered to give an unfair advantage, as confirmed by our attorney. Contestants, can I please just ask you to confirm that all the balls are identical? Take a look, take a feel. Give me a thumbs up if they're identical, if you're happy. Fantastic. You've all confirmed that they are happy. They're busy signing these balls and they're going to write their initials all across the ball. So once it goes through, our machine will be able to identify which ball belongs to which contestant. I am so nervous right now. I don't know how you guys at home are feeling. Hashtag winner home. Thanks all the tweets so far. We already are trending on Twitter, so keep them coming through. We'd love to hear from you. Right, ladies, I think that's, that's enough. <laughs> With all the balls now marked, our attorney will collect them from the finalists and place them back in the container. You're welcome to do that, Janu. All the balls are placed in the container. It's obviously a see-through container, as you can tell. All identical and all with their initials. Right, Yanu, you can come and stand over this side for me. Yanu will now place the game balls into our winner home prize machine. This machine has been designed to completely randomize the order in which the balls will form. So please, won't you do me the honors for now, just place the balls in the machine. They're obviously going to fall down the machine and be allocated to a different color. 
All right. Okay. All the balls are inside. The game balls are inside the machine. Yanni, just hold on. Let's uh, build some tension here. <laughs> we need a breath or a glass of water. All right. I'm going to ask Yanni now to please uh, have the honors today of releasing the balls and to start the prize machine. Yanni, pressure's off. Some of our balls have got stuck in the machine. Do you want to give that a tap, Yanni? Because obviously you're just ensure that they go through. I need them to all go through, otherwise, there we go. Thank you very much, Yanni. Now, will you please just read the initials as you can see them, starting with the purple plinth at the bottom. Um, purple plinth, oh, sorry, this is S-N-A. S-N, would you please make your way to the purple plinth? Thank you, Charmaine. Charlene, sorry. Then we've got, in the red plinth. F-L. F-L. Congratulations. Congratulations. Then. A ZK. ZK on the orange plinth. Thank you, Zintle. WT. WT, I don't think it was one of them. I think it is M L or L M. L M. Yes. Congratulations. You can make your way through to the grey plinth. RZ. RZ. Please make your way through to the grey plinth. I mean to the green plinth. And NM. NM, through to the final blue plinth. Whew. Right, thank you very much, Yanu, for letting the game machine do its thing. So now our finalists are standing ready. They're standing away from their safes, and they've been assigned a color, and they have a safe on top of that plinth behind that color. All that's left to do is to open them. Ladies, you may open your safes after this short commercial break. <laughs> My palms are officially sweaty. Welcome back to the live grand finale of Winner Home right here on Afternoon Express on SABC3. The nerves are so high in the loft today and in the studio. Hope you guys are feeling the tension so far. We've reached a very critical moment as our finalists are standing ready to find out if Lady Luck is smiling down on them today. Before the break, each finalist marked an identical game ball. These game balls were then passed through our Winner Home prize machine, which randomly allocated a specific color plinth to each finalist upon each plinth is a safe and the only person who has had the access to these saves is our independent attorney who placed a key inside only one of those we don't know which safe holds the key and we don't know which plinth might be holding the winning safe contestants it's time for you guys to do the honors on my cue i'm going to ask you to just turn the key so please take a step towards your safes ladies place your hand on your key don't turn until my cue. You may not open your safe until I give you the cue. 
please turn your key to unlock your safe clockwise. All the safes are now unlocked. Remember, only one of these safes contains the key to a three million rand home at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate. The winner will obviously find a key inside their safe. You may open in after this ad break. No, I'm joking, no ad breaks, no ad breaks. You may open your safes in three, two, one, reveal. Congratulations, You need the biggest hug ever. Zindles plus one, come and join us on the stage. Congratulations, my love. You are officially the owner of a brand new home. Oh my God. Wow. This is what moments are made of. Ken Gus, come and join us in studio today. Sure. Hey Zintle, Kent, you got a brand new oh, resident sure. of the Eye of Africa estate? Come and stand here for me, my love. How do you feel? Uh, on behalf of um, Eye of Africa and Stone Quarter, I'd just like to say how thrilled we've been to be a part of the 2017 season of Winner Home. And I can't wait <laughs> to welcome you to Eye of Africa and your beautiful new home at Stone Quarter. Sure. Well done. Congratulations, Zintle. A three million rand home is yours. South Africa, what a journey this has been so far. All that's literally left, Zintle, you and I need to obviously go forward and choose which home we want to be we want to be yours. Do you have any ideas of which one you're liking the most so far? Team VC. Team VC. Team VC. All right, so you're liking Team VC. Tomorrow you'll get a chance to kind of have a look at all the different homes and then decide which one you want to be winning, all right? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, our winner of Winner Home on Afternoon Express, Zintle, three million rands. How do you feel at this moment? What is going through your mind? A lot of things. A lot of things. What's the biggest? The biggest is that this is an answer to a prayer. Having a home for my children has always been my dream. Uh, because if I could write a book about my life, wow. <laughs> I'm beyond words. Sintle, and the final chapter is done and dusted. And what a great way to end off this chapter of her book of life. Uh, told you, Win at Home is going to get an opportunity to change lives today. So thank you so much, uh, Ken, for being here with us today. And obviously to everybody who's been involved with the show thus far. So from everyone here at Win at Home on Afternoon Express, we'd really like to say thank you to the sponsors who made dreams like this come true. Private Property, thank you so much. Plascon, Caesarstone, and the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate. And of course, to all of our design duos, the judges, magazine mentors, and last but not least, you, the viewer at home, for sharing this exciting journey with us right here on Afternoon Express. On this very emotional note and exciting note, we hope you have a great weekend, South Africa. Thanks for being part of this journey with us. God bless and have a good weekend. Good night. Wow. wow. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property. A home for everyone. Clover. Another feel-good production.